Hello everyone, Tina here. Welcome to Card Making Fundamentals and welcome to the In The Moment Classroom. Today we're going to create with lesson kit number two. I'm so happy you're joining me today. For those of you who are returning students, welcome back. For those of you who are brand new, welcome to the online card making fundamentals classroom. Today, this is lesson kit number two. So I have that, I pulled that out of our package here. So grab your lesson kit number two. You're also gonna need a few supplies to create with lesson number two. We're gonna do a little bit of stamping today. So you are gonna need an acrylic block. Now you're gonna need one that is big enough. If you don't have an acrylic block and you have your stamping positioner, you could break that out. Um, you need one that will fit your sentiment that says love. Okay, and you're all, I'm also gonna stamp you always. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab that now. You can also grab a small acrylic block, or again, you can stamp, use your stamping positioner. Um, we're gonna, sometimes the smaller acrylic block works better for sentiments. And I am gonna grab my well, my well loved love <laughs> that I have paper on. Okay, okay. So we have a stamping block, two if you want to, or a stamping positioner. And you're gonna need some baby wipes to clean off your stamp. If you have a chamois, you could use that. Need some baby wipes. And then you're also gonna need some black ink. I'm gonna use Versafine. We have a very bold black print here, so Versafine is bold black, and I'm gonna use that. Um, any kind of black ink that you like and prefer, break that out, we're gonna use that. You're gonna you need some glue. And then you're also gonna need your tape runner. And then you're also gonna need your scissors. And I think that's it for today's classroom. So, scissors, ink, wipes, blocks, or stamping positioner, glue, and a tape runner. Let's jump in and create a card. Okay, we are gonna open up our package. Keep your packages, because you can store your cards in them. And we have a embellishment bag here. We're gonna start off by stamping our sentiment. We have a piece of white cardstock. We're gonna take this and we're gonna take our love, put that on your acrylic block or in your stamping positioner, and then we're gonna ink it up with black ink. We're gonna stamp that on some white cardstock. So let's go ahead and ink this up. Since this is a large sentiment, um, a stamping positioner works great. I'm gonna stamp this towards the bottom in case I mess up. I can stamp it again. And it stamp. This is this stamp set's not a photopolymer. It's actually um, one of the less expensive acrylic stamps, but I always think it stamps really nice. I mean, I never have any issues um, with acrylic stamps. Not yet. Knock on wood. I don't have no wood, but um, I say that now, but. I'm gonna trim out my love. It just makes it easier for me to fussy cut around, and that's what we're gonna do. Take your scissors and leave a little bit of a white border around your love. And just fussy cut around those curves. The nice thing about having leaving a little bit of a border is you don't have to go into those fine detail areas. Not too much. Sometimes I find it easier to move the paper and not the scissors. Go around the L-O. Go around the curve of the L. And I didn't go down the, the V, but I think I'm going to. So I'm gonna go down and cut around the V. 
There we go. So there is our love. I'll take this and put that in our little trash bin. I'm going to use my baby wipe and we'll clean off our stamp and we'll put that back. And then while we have our ink out and our stamp out, I'm going to, in your little embellishment bag, there are two banners. You only need one. They're fishtail banners. I put an extra one in there because sometimes it's hard to center on these smaller ones. So if we make a, a this is pretty heavy cardstock, so if you make a mistake, you can, you can use the reverse side. If you make another mistake, you got backup. <laughs> so we're going to take You Always. I'm going to ink that up with my black ink. And I'm going to stamp this in the center of my banner. Here we go. And we'll wipe that off and we'll put this back as well. Put the plastic and we'll put this back in our envelope. So that's the stamping that we're doing today. I'm going to put my ink away. And then now what we're going to do is take our kind of watercolor panel. I'm going to flip this around and we're going to adhere this to our card base. I'm going to use my tape runner. And you want to make sure that your, your cut off watercolor area is at the very top. I think that's going to look a lot nicer. And then it does leave a little bit of a border so you want to make sure it's evenly spaced all the way around. It's about an eighth of an inch around, you can see there. Okay, after we have that done, we're going to take the XOXO. And this is going to go on the bottom. I'm going to use my tape runner and adhere this. And I'm making sure it's evenly spaced, just so that it kind of continues all around those edges. And I'm putting the cutoff XOXO over here. You, do, you could do it opposite if you want, but I think it's going to look better having two rows. So with the XOXO cut off here. Now after this is done, we have a strip of yellow and a strip of teal colored green cardstock. I'm going to use my glue, add a thin bead of glue over the green, and then we're going to add this to the very top of our yellow. This is going to go over the seam of our both of our papers here and I, I before we adhere it I want to measure. And the best way for me to do this is to take a pencil and lightly mark where I want to cut and then I can use my scissors and just trim this. We're basically just trimming the excess. And I have a little pencil showing, so I'm going to use my eraser and erase that. Okay. After we have this done, we're going to adhere this using the tape runner with the green side on top over the seam. And I'm putting that you have the yellow and you have the green. I'm lining that up with the seam of the XOXO. So we have some of that showing here. You see what I mean? Okay, after this is adhered, we have these two pieces. Now I, I, I purposely have this for a little, this is something we're going to use for just for stability. We're going to open up our embellishment bag and take everything out. Okay, and we have a gold photo frame. I'm going to flip it around and add some glue behind it. A thin bead. And 
And then we're going to adhere, oops, this. I have to wipe that off real fast. <laughs> or I'm going to get glue everywhere. Okay, I'm going to take my, the, our frame that we added glue to and attach this to our polka dot pattern paper. Now when I attach it, there is going to be a little bit of, there's going to be some excess overhanging on the corners and on the edges. You want to trim that off. Sometimes it's easier just to put your scissors underneath that frame and then trim instead of going around it. But basically we're just adhering that pattern paper behind our photo frame. Try not to get glue on the outside edge there. Now once we have our pattern paper adhered, I'm going to flip this around and I'm going to use my tape runner and take this white card stock and we're going to adhere it to the back. This is since we're adhering paper to a, a thin gold frame. This is just going to give us a little weight and we can pop it up with some foam adhesive. Okay, after that's done, we have a little fishtail banner. There is a little hole in there. This is where your craft pick will come in handy. Just punch that out. And then we have a small piece of black and white baker's twine. I fold it in half so we have the loopy at top. I take the loopy and I thread it through the hole of our tag, pull it through. So that's the loopy side. I open the loopy with two fingers and then grab the tails of it and pull it through. That's just how I do it. It makes it real easy. Okay, so now that we threaded our little banner, I have a gold butterfly. There's a little foam behind it um, and then there's a little piece of plastic. Just remove that plastic, that plastic there, and then we can adhere our butterfly to that. You want to center it. You could use the, the body of the butterfly and line it up to the point of your, um, of your fishtail banner to center it. I love adding textures to my card. So that is good to go for right now. Okay, We're, we don't need, I, I didn't need my extra banner. So what I would like to do is, this is my leftover bag from lesson number one. I'm going to put my banner in my leftover bag. Set that aside here. I'm going to flip over my butterfly here and then we have a small foam circle that's going to go behind our little um, fishtail banner. I'm going to take this and we're going to take one of our paper clips here. I'm going to grab one of our paper clips. Love these little paper clips. <laughs> Put those back and close it. And then we're going to add a paper clip to the left side of our photo frame. I'm putting the big side on the on the front. You can see there. And I like it to have a little bit overhanging. And then I'm going to take the U always and I'm going to tuck it underneath the paper clip here. Maybe we need to put that paper clip kind of at a diagonal. Like so. I think that's going to work out good. Okay. Now we're going to flip over our photo frame and we're going to add some of our foam circles. I didn't use this many. I actually was practicing on my, my, my demo cards, I should call them. And I used some of my foam circles already. You guys probably have a lot more left over than I do. <laughs> but I'm going to go ahead and grab one more. Let me know if you guys like these or not. 
but I think it's easy to remove the release paper too. I put the, my last one over my paper clip so this way it doesn't move. Now I'm going to go ahead and remove the release paper off of my foam circles. And I'll take my photo frame and I'm going to put it on my card base, but I'm going to put it at a diagonal. Just so a little bit's overhanging off the bottom here. There we go. I think that's a, I think that's going to work out good. And then I'm going to adjust my U always so it's kind of horizontal. I'm going to take my love. We're going to flip this around and we are going to add that to our photo frame. But I'm just going to use my tape runner to adhere it. I may have some pieces overhanging. No, I think maybe on the L. So what I'm going to do is take one of my circles and we'll just trim, trim down a couple pieces. And then that way, the pieces that are overhanging are the same height as our photo frame. Let's see how this goes. I don't think we're going to need one behind the E. This is going to go straight, horizontal on the photo frame. I guess I didn't need it on the top of the L. I'm going to remove that. Well, maybe not. Maybe we'll just use it for dimension. A little hard to remove, but... So basically it's in the center of the card. Okay. So we have our love adhered. Now we're going to remove the release paper off of our fishtail banner. And then we'll take this and we'll attach it to the top left of our photo frame. And then we can take this and tie a bow with it. Okay. And then I can trim the tails with my scissors. Lovely. After we have that done, we have a few gems and we're going to use our craft tool, our craft pick. And we're going to do the same thing that we did with card number one. We're going to add this to our metal butterfly. There is a little hole at the very top. I'm covering that hole up with the largest gem and then I'm going to add three smaller ones below the body. And our last one. We have extra gems in case you lose one. Okay, and then that, we'll take our little extra gems and then I'm going to put them in my extra package in case we need them for our final card. And then that finishes off card, card number two or lesson number two of the In the Moment Classroom. Kind of a fun card um, and it could be for anybody. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for stopping by. Thank you so much for being a great student. <laughs> we will see you next time, um, next Friday, same time, same place. And next Friday's classroom will be on May 20th. So I hope you can join me and have a lovely day. We'll see you soon. Have a great weekend. Bye-bye.